What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our Big Ten Football Channel. Nebraska could not overcome their 2019 schedule and get to a bowl game. And it was really a schedule that set up in a way that I thought they could do, actually more than get to a bowl game. I had to see one in the West, but it wasn't that bad of a schedule. And I think it really all starts with that Colorado game the last two years for Nebraska. Those games have kind of set the tone for their season. I think they expected to win both times. They lost both times. And I think that, again, kind of set the tone for their season. And ultimately, last year, if they beat Colorado, they make it to a bowl game. So that game actually kept them out. They don't play Colorado this year, so maybe Nebraska can get things turned around in 2020. Now let's take a look at their schedule. And uh, the non-conference schedule, again, not too bad. You've got Central Michigan, South Dakota State, and Cincinnati in there. Cincinnati might actually be a really tough matchup, though. But they open up the year on September the 5th against Purdue. A winnable game for Nebraska, and it's a game that is probably going to set the tone for their season just like the Colorado games did the last couple of years. Purdue's a team that was down a little bit last year, had a lot of injuries, but they're going to be back this year and, and competitive in my opinion, and I think this will be an even matchup. Nebraska at home, though, they cannot afford to lose this game. I'm telling you right now, if they lose this game, they will not have a good season. And they might still make a bowl game, but they won't have a, a, a great season if they do not win this game. Huge game to open up the year. Then they play Central Michigan on September the 12th, South Dakota State on September 19th, and Cincinnati on September 26th. This will be a tough matchup. You know, based off of what we saw last year, I think Cincinnati was a better team. Nebraska, though, trying to get better, and they get the game at home. So it's a, it's a tough one to call. And uh, it's another game that Nebraska really needs to win. With the, when you got to go through all the Big Ten games, you cannot afford to lose these uh, games to group of five teams. You just can't afford to lose these non-conference matchups. Again, that's what happened to them the last couple of years with Colorado. Uh, Cincinnati, a big game there to close out the month of September. We move on to October. Nebraska goes on the road to face Northwestern, a team that was down big time last year, but they return a lot. Uh, that's not a game that I think will be easy for the Cornhuskers. The next week they'll play Illinois on October the 10th. Illinois is a team that surprised people last year. Remember, they upset Wisconsin. They made it to a bowl game. They have a lot coming back this year. That will be a difficult matchup, I think, for Nebraska. Then on October 24th, it's on the road at Rutgers. Don't really expect Rutgers to be able to challenge a team like Nebraska with, with how they've been the last several years. But you never know. So the Cornhuskers better be ready. It's a road game in the Big Ten. You never know what might happen. The next week, October the 31st, it's on the road at Ohio State. Obviously the toughest game on the schedule. Go back to last year. A lot of people thought Nebraska, they thought if Ohio State was going to lose a game on the road to a Big Ten West team, they thought Nebraska was that team. And I was close to picking it. I think I wound up going with Ohio State in that matchup. But it, it was a very intriguing pick. It was a pick that you could definitely in the preseason see potentially happening. Ohio State blew them out. This time it's on the road, so I don't really see Nebraska competing in that game uh, unless they really improve this year. And then they also play Penn State out of the East. On November the 7th, they will play Penn State. So you got probably the top two teams out of the East in Ohio State and Penn State. And by the way, we skipped over the bye week there on October the 17th. That's their bye week between Illinois and Rutgers. What a time to have a bye week. I mean, could could you pick a, a worse week for Nebraska than before Rutgers to have your bye week? would be really nice to have it between Ohio State and Penn State, but that is not what uh, they will have. In fact, instead, they will have Ohio State and Penn State back-to-back. -back. And really, the, the last five games of this schedule – Nebraska may be underdogs in all five of these games. You've got Ohio State on the road, Penn State on the road at Iowa, on the road at Wisconsin, and then Minnesota. That is brutal. That is brutal. The first half of their schedule, not bad at all. But you get into these final five games, and it is brutal. Iowa on November 14th on the road will be a tough matchup. It's a winnable game. I think Nebraska will have a shot in that game, but it will be a tough one. Wisconsin on the road on November 21st. It's going to be really tough to win that game. And then Minnesota on the Friday after Thanksgiving, November 27th. We know what the Golden Gophers did last year. I expect this team to be really good again this year. Good news for Nebraska is they get it at home, so maybe they have a shot at the upset. But if they're going to make a bowl game and they're going to win seven, six or seven games this year, 
it's going to come between Purdue and Rutgers. You're going to have to win those games. They can't afford one loss. They can lose one game. And then if they lose the rest of those games, again, those final five, they will still make a bowl game. This is a team that may be overrated halfway through the season because of, of the weak starts of the schedule. Again, they're winnable. All these games are winnable. And they may even be favored in all these games. If they beat Purdue and Cincinnati and Northwestern Illinois and Rutgers, this team could start 7-0. and They could be ranked pretty high. And then they could lose five games straight. I mean, that wouldn't shock me to see that happen. Uh, just a very brutal end of the season here for Nebraska. Uh, the, the Big Ten did not do them any favors of the schedule. First of all, you got the bye week between Illinois and Rutgers. Horrible place for the bye week. And then you got five straight games, five brutal games to close out the season. 2019, pretty easy schedule for Nebraska. 2020, I think they make up for it with a very difficult, at least a very difficult conference schedule, especially the way they close it out with those final five games. So we're talking about a team that could potentially be bowl eligible in October, but wind up finishing the season six and six and barely making it into a bowl game. We'll see what happens.